Hey there, Soul Shines. It's Michelle here. Come make with me. It is Tuesday. Okay, I'm recording this like so late at night on almost Tuesday. It's Monday night. It's 20 minutes to midnight. That's how crazy the day is. I'm trying, guys. But this, like, we've been only been back in school for a couple weeks. Kids started new jobs. Like, there's a lot. There's a but I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm going to get my rhythm down and get back into things and be able to get these videos done without giving myself stress. <sighs> All right. And oh my gosh, my skin is so dry as well. Anyway, so this, I'm currently in the middle of a project, almost to the middle. I am doing a overlay mosaic crochet blanket I'm doing it with will work for yarn she is an amazing subscriber I've gotten to have a couple conversations with her like or one where we're just on voice one where I get to see her face it was awesome she is so adorable and she invited me to do this um, crochet along so it is one that Juniper and Oaks did for her stuff a while ago um, and there were 11 designers I believe that all got together and each one of them did a strip and it's a blanket and so we're working on it so I have already showed on here there's what the red looks like with the triangles and stuff it's pretty fun and the orange what the orange looks like so this is what mine looks like as far as the red and orange um i'm going to put in uh mary's that's what we'll work for her. her name is mary she's so sweet i'm gonna put her picture in she has barely started her yellow good job to her for getting that far getting through the orange can be a little bit of a challenge getting through the yellow can be a, a bit of a challenge um yellow because you had to do a lot more counting orange because it was a very wide strip like you look at the size of those two strips comparatively and there's definitely a difference so anyway her picture of where she's at it's great hers is looking great I'm excited for her um, here is what my yellow looks like so that's pretty fun uh, my green is all done and that's just fun oh this is probably about 60 inches anyway I am almost I've got maybe eight rows left for the blue this section is called something in twins I cannot remember what it's called but to me before right now I mean it, it's going to basically mirror up but right now it looks like I'm trying to look in backwards so it's like here's a person here's some twins together maybe their arms around each other and here's a person and like they're holding something up together in between <laughs> so to me they kind of look like little people um, anyway that's this one this is what we've got so far when I finish the blue section, I will be doing a purple section, and I'm excited for the purple section. Um, after the purple section, you start working your way back out again. So it will be blue, then green, then yellow, then orange, then red, and then the border. And it's just crazy. Like, I'm making a blanket, guys. I don't do usually do blankets. But I'm so excited about this. Mary made a suggestion, and I seriously am considering it. Oh, by the way, this is what the back looks like. Can you see it? Is it all the way up? Okay. The back. Kind of interesting. Because with Mosaic Crochet, you go, you start at one end, and you go all the way across, and then you tie it, and you leave these um, tails on both sides. And so you could... Um, leave the blanket. Some people do. You leave the leave the blanket with all the colors off to the side. Or there's what's called an envelope border I've never done before that I'm going to learn how to do on this one. But anyway, 
uh, Mary had made a suggestion that we design something together and I'm like I don't know that I could design a whole blanket but if we picked like a square size and then um, we could repeat that and it could either be like here's the square of each motif and then make like a scarf and then if people wanted to make a wrap, they could make a wrap. And if people wanted to make a blanket, because you would just repeat the thing. So um, I am thinking of doing that. I think that would be kind of fun. But I don't know. Um, we haven't talked anymore about it. Anyway, let me know if you're interested. Do you want me to make, um, design a pattern that we work on together? I, that would be really fun. Um, I know there's so many cows crochet alongs, knit alongs, make alongs. I know it can be a little bit overwhelming, so if you're not interested, I understand. But if you are interested, let me know. Which reminds me, hey guys, if you like what you see here, hook the subscribe button, like the video, <clears throat> and leave some yarn in the comments. I love it when people comment. If you haven't heard about it already, I have a new Kofi membership. There are some special perks that come, Ooh, there's two tiers. Please go check them out, see if they're something you're interested in. If you are not interested in it, that's okay too. Um, but And also if you'd like to come join my Discord, that would be cool. Every time I have the lights like right by me, it's like my brain shuts off. I don't know why. It's like, I can't think when the lights are there. Oh, yeah, because I'm just so tired too. That doesn't help. Just start playing with the lights and I'm just like, seriously. Okay, I remember what I was going to talk about. Tomorrow, Wednesday, 10 a.m. Mountain Time, I am doing a yarn party. Basically, it is a crochet or knit group type of an idea. Come join us online and bring your works in progress and chat with us, get to know us, uh, work on what you want, knit, crochet, weaving, anything that's quiet that's not going to interfere, um, and, or just come chat with us. And I was doing them for two hours, but I'm like, no, that's way too long for me. Um, so I'm doing it for an hour. Um, in the past, I'm like, and between an hour and an hour and a half, I'm like, I'm done. It's not that I'm done talking to people because I think that's fun. It's that sitting in this chair oh, um, is gets very uncomfortable for me. My body gets really upset with me. So I'm going to do an hour. But if you want to be invited, if you want the link for it, send me an email. My email is always in the description. Send me an email and um, we will, you'll get the link. Yeah, seriously, so tired. And then the light, yeah. Okay, anyway, um, I have not added this, but I will add it into the upload stuff. The Vortex Shell, so you can get it. This one's always up in the, um, the thing because everybody's like, oh, that's so beautiful. So it's always there. <sighs> Pat links, that's what I'm talking about. Um, of course, I will put the link to this. Um, and here's the thing, guys. The pattern repeat is about this wide. No, that is not the right space. There we go. There, it's only this wide. So if you decided that you wanted to make this, you could make a scarf. Um, and you could just do from here to here. Uh, your size would change depending on the yarn. I'm using a four weight. I think Mary's using a three weight. Pretty sure that's what the pattern calls for. You could use a one or a two weight and you could make a scarf. And so you would get from here to here on the blue section and then just going down 
the green section is like this gray line that's down here that divides the green section up and then for the yellow section you've got two, the two sets and then the orange section you've got basically two swirlies and then a few triangles so if you wanted to do just one thing you could do one um, section and like I said make a scarf that'd be fun um, even if you're like ooh I don't really like all of those things but like say you like the orange you can get the pattern it's a free pattern so you could get the pattern just for the orange section or just for the green section I really like the green section my kids say it looks like a QR code and then I'm like I want to make a QR code pillow that would be so fun and then my daughter gave me the idea of what QR code to do and I'm like I don't know if I could get it to work but that would be hilarious um, anyway I am done I've still got to edit this and I would like to get it mostly done before midnight so that you guys can watch it and anyway with that remember to let your light shine through your creations whatever they be and I will see you guys next time bye